What I can tell you is the the strangeness sometimes of I guess when you get to a certain age, you remember like when they were kids. Yes. And so his time in Oshawa, where he was a phenom, actually made the news, uh, I think, back in 2007. And it was Lloyd Robertson talking about this young phenom from Oakville. His name is John Tavares. <laughs> really? Do you think he's going to be good? Mm. Oh, yeah, he's going to be good. This is just so weird in the setup. But also look at how good he was. You know, We're talking Major Junior A. We're talking the O. And he was that good at that age. No wonder everyone loves him. Finally, for us tonight, Canada has produced some of the biggest hockey names in the world. world. Stars like Gordie Howe, oh, Bobby Orr, yeah. Wayne Gretzky, and Sidney Crosby. Crosby. And every year in this hockey-mad country, fans wonder about the next great player. Right now, there's quite a buzz about a 16-year-old boy who is so good, they've changed the rules for him. And John Tavares of the Ontario Hockey League's Oshawa Generals yeah. is living up to the hype. With 58 goals in only 55 games, Tavares is tearing up the league. And as we hear from CTV's Scott Laurie, in tonight's success story, the future is bright for the teen from Oakville, Ontario. Tavares goes in, I go! He scores! As the Ontario Hockey League's third highest score with 108 points, score! John Tavares lights it up for the Oshawa Generals. I think he's probably the next Wayne Gretzky. Next Sidney Crosby. The guy's got an amazing talent. His standing in the scoring race is unusual because the six foot, 185 pound Tavares is only 16. The only players with more points are two and four years older. Being so young and being allowed to play in the OHL, uh, you know, just had to prove myself, show them that I deserve to be, be there. Two years ago, at 14, he was the subject of controversy. Scouts said he was ready for the OHL. But only players 15 and up could be drafted. Well, they bent the rules, making allowances for so-called exceptional players. Now looking back on it, I didn't realize how big of a deal I was till then. I was just really excited being allowed to play in the league. His parents, Joe and Barb, watch in amazement. So I just still see him as the kid I brought up. Like, you know, still wants to play hockey. <laughs> he's ready for it, though. He's, uh, he's up for the challenge, and um, I'm, I'm just really happy for him. People who watch the Ontario Hockey League are asking this question. If Tavares is already dominating at 16, what's he going to be doing in two years when he's still here? Former Toronto Maple Leaf Brad Selwood is Oshawa's coach and general manager. You know, they say John may be the next one. We hope he is, you know, if we do our job here in the next couple of years. A lot of people are liking him to Gretzky and, and Crosby. Uh, I think he's going to be his own person. But Tavares says he's trying not to get distracted. What I try and do is just uh, be a normal 16-year-old like any other teenager and just hang out and be like everyone else. NHL teams can't draft him until 2009. By then, he could go from being the OHL's top draft pick to premier NHL prospect. Scott Lurie, CTV News, Oshawa, Ontario. Isn't that interesting, too? And by the way, or I should say, and by the way, Dave. Mm, that's more like it. By the way, hey, hey, Devlin, what size waist do you got there? Looks like it's about a 28. <laughs> like a small waist on a man. <laughs> you certainly do. Robinson, get off the air. You're still alive. Don't tell me. Don't you look at me. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Best friends. Yep. <laughs>